About 17 months ago, a young American made headlines by carrying off a nearly beyond belief escape from a filthy and terror-filled Turkish prison. He had been caught smuggling about two and a half pounds of hashish, a drug made from the seeds of the female marijuana plant. The young American's name was Billy Hayes. Billy got caught up in this whole tidal wave of midnight express hysteria when he got back. And he was living the Hollywood life and enjoying it. This movie just exploded and the whole country was talking about it. It's very strange to be recognized as being a hash smuggling escaped convict, which is really what the movie has done for me. Everyone remembers Midnight Express, the story of the escape of convicted drug dealer Billy Hayes from a Turkish prison it was one of the big films of the 1970s. Now there's a documentary out called Midnight Return that looks at Midnight Express from two different points of view. The first part of the film deals with how the film was made. It's an inside Hollywood documentary that talks to director Alan Parker, screenwriter Oliver Stone, producer David Putnam, telling tales out of school about how the film was made. The second part of the film focuses on Billy Hayes himself, what has happened to him since the film came out, how he has come to terms with the fact that the nature of the film made him literally persona non grata in Turkey, made an entire nation really hate him. It's an interesting documentary, whether you've seen Midnight Express or not, whether you're a fan of Midnight Express or not, it will still hold your interest. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.